which is fun, not too bad. All right, so again, ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to graph this, again, what I would recommend doing is graph for all values of x. You need to know what the quadratic function looks like. It's somewhere right around over in here. Oh, perfect. Right? You identify the transformations. You're being shifted to the right one and then up two. So typically, my parent function crosses at 0, 0. Now I'm crossing at 1, up 2. Remember our general transformations of this graph. It's over 1, up 1, over 2, up 2. Whatever numbers you plug in. So there, that's the kind of transformation of the graph. So you could say over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1. And again, it doesn't need to be perfect. We're just sketching a graph. That's greater than or equal to to 0, though. So I'm not going to, well, let's, get to, let's go to that again let's later. This equation, you might have a little bit of difficulty with this. Again, I would rewrite this, which I just talked about last class period, or last problem. Rewrite this with the x in front so we can kind of un understand the transformation. And then realize, oh, wait, I have an inside reflection and a shift. I got to make sure I factor out that. So therefore, we rewrite this as a negative x minus 1. So now, when I'm identifying my transformations, I am reflecting the graph across the y-axis, and I'm shifting it one unit to the right. So if you guys look at this, um, that was over there, OK. So that graph, I guess you guys can't see it over there. But remember, the square root graph looks like this. So what we're doing is we're flipping it like this, and then we're shifting it over. Does everybody see that? Correct? So what we're going to do is basically, ah, you know what, dang it. My bad. Let's do it like that. Sorry about that. I messed up for there. Um, let's change this for there, because therefore, that's what I meant to do, because where they go to 1. So now that is um, here, and it's going this direction. This. It's reflected about the y-axis, because it's being multiplied by negative inside. And since I factor out the negative, it's being shifted to the right one unit. Originally, the graph crosses at 0, 0 and goes to the right. It's being fracted, and it's being shifted over to the right. Now we just take a lot. Now we just take a trip for where it's equal. This graph says it's greater than, um, it's equal to less than or equal to one, which that satisfies. But this one we only want when it's greater than one. So I turn that to a open circle, and I only choose the values of the graph where it's greater than one. So that's what your graph would look like. Okay. So now that we know piecewise, now that we know transformations, you can ex 